Our Lady of Sorrows, the untold story of Mary's suffering and her love for humanity. The Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows is a profound reflection on the deep compassion and suffering of Mary, the Mother of God, as she endured the anguish of witnessing her Son, Jesus Christ, suffer and die for the salvation of humanity. This feast, celebrated on September 15th, invites us to contemplate Mary's unique participation in the Passion of Christ. Her sorrow, intertwined with the suffering of Jesus, is a powerful example of faith, love, and ultimate sacrifice. The Heart of a Sorrowful Mother Mary's journey as the mother of Jesus was marked by joy, but also by immense pain. From the moment of Christ's birth, when Simeon foretold the piercing of her heart, Mary's life became one of silent endurance and unwavering faith. The seven sorrows of Mary traditionally focus on the key moments of grief that she bore, yet her heart remained open to the will of God, no matter how agonizing. Simeon's Prophecy In the Gospel of Luke 2, 34-35, when Mary and Joseph brought the infant Jesus to the temple, Simeon blessed them and spoke words that cast a shadow over the joy of a new mother. Simeon said to Mary, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Luke 2, 34-35 These words foretold the sorrow Mary would endure as her son faced rejection, suffering, and ultimately death. The Seven Sorrows of Mary The Seven Sorrows of Mary are moments in Scripture where she experiences the grief that no mother should have to bear. These sorrows reveal her strength and devotion as she suffers alongside her son. 1. The Prophecy of Simeon, Luke 2, 25-35 Mary learned early on that her child would suffer, and her heart would be pierced by sorrow. 2. The Flight into Egypt, Matthew 2, 13-15 Fleeing for her child's life, Mary and Joseph escaped to Egypt to protect Jesus from Herod's wrath. 3. The Loss of Jesus in the Temple, Luke 2, 41-50 the temporary loss of the child Jesus in Jerusalem for three days caused great anguish to Mary and Joseph. 4. Mary meets Jesus on the way to Calvary, Luke 23, 27-31. Seeing her beloved son carrying the cross to his death was a sight of immense sorrow for Mary. 5. The Crucifixion of Jesus, John 19, 25-30. Standing at the foot of the cross, Mary witnessed the brutal execution of her son. 6. The body of Jesus is taken down from the cross, Luke 23, 50-54. Holding her lifeless son in her arms, Mary's sorrow reached its peak. 7. The burial of Jesus, Luke 23, 55-56. Watching the burial of Jesus sealed in a tomb, Mary experienced the depth of human sorrow. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. Mary's Compassion and Participation in Christ's Suffering The Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows reminds us that Mary's compassion was not passive. Her presence at the foot of the cross symbolizes her total union with the suffering of Christ. She bore his pain as her own, fulfilling the prophecy that her heart too would be pierced. Her willingness to share in her son's suffering makes her the ultimate model of compassion, patience, and unwavering faith. At the foot of the cross, as Jesus suffered the ultimate agony, he saw his mother and John, the disciple he loved, standing nearby. In one of his final acts, Jesus entrusted his mother to John's care, saying, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother, John 19, 26-27.
These words reveal not only Jesus' deep care for his mother, but also her new role as the mother of all who follow Christ. Mary, as Our Lady of Sorrows, becomes a symbol of maternal care and love for all Christians. Lessons from Our Lady of Sorrows Through her sorrows, Mary teaches us the virtue of acceptance in the face of suffering. She did not resist the will of God, even when it meant unimaginable pain. Instead, she embraced it with humility and trust. In her, we find a model for enduring trials with grace, knowing that God's plan is greater than our immediate circumstances. Her strength, born from love and faith, shines through in the darkest moments of the Christian story. Mary's compassion for Jesus and for all humanity extends beyond her own suffering. As the mother of sorrows, she stands beside all who endure pain, offering comfort, understanding, and hope. She knows the depths of human sorrow and invites us to bring our pain to her son, where true healing is found. Conclusion The Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows honors Mary's compassionate heart, her unwavering faith, and her profound suffering as the mother of Jesus. Through her seven sorrows, she shows us how to bear our own crosses with patience and trust in God. As we reflect on Mary's sorrow, we are reminded of her eternal care for us as a mother who understands our pain. Let us turn to her in our moments of trial, knowing that she will lead us to her son, who is our ultimate source of comfort and salvation. Through the heart of Our Lady of Sorrows, we find strength in suffering and hope in the promise of redemption. May God bless us through the help of Our Lady of Sorrows in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.